The Greek government has honoured Australian war veterans who fought to liberate Greece and Crete during World War II. At a ceremony in Melbourne last night, it presented them with service medals. Some were presented posthumously. But as Lisa Maximovic reports, other recipients were there in person, including one who recently turned 100. This week marks 72 years since Les Manning fought in the Battle of Crete, and his memories are clear. The 100-year-old recalls how the locals risked their lives to help the Anzacs after German paratroopers invaded the island. A lot of the villagers were burnt to the ground and they shot a lot of them. They, they still went on helping the Aussies all the time. All these years later, he was able to thank them at a ceremony honouring a dozen Australian veterans. You helped so many Aussies. Thanks very much. The battle in May 1941 is remembered as one of the strongest acts of defiance against the Nazis. Although Greece's largest island was eventually taken, the 10-day campaign proved the Nazis were not infallible. Les Manning tried to escape by boat. There was two Germans that had the boat. They were dressed similar to what we were. Because I walked down and had me on my shoulder shirt. So they got no cigarettes. He had a lug and they packed that in his stomach. So that was the end of me. The Greek Consul General says the battle forged an important friendship. This was uh, one of the most uh, heroic and historic events uh, that uh, bind our nations and our people together. It was an emotional evening, not least for a woman who'd travelled from Perth to accept her father's medal. After telling the gathering she knew very little about his experience, she was approached by a 92-year-old veteran who'd served with him. Much catching up to do. Lisa Maximovic, ABC News.